Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 20th through the 26th. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that my readings are love readings, so, you know, whatever comes out, comes out, but that's what I focus on. If it feels like it's your reading, then it is. If it feels like it's not, then it's not. Whew. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Wonderful. Beautiful. Oh, don't you love it when we get a flyer? <laughs> I do. Oh, this is such a good card for you guys. It really is. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Easier said than done, eh? Aries. What does Aries need to know? That they can't control this situation? The universe is, is in control? The universe has been hearing their prayers? Is that what's been going on? Hmm. I hear you. Be patient. It's coming. Trust me. Slow down. Allow. Now, it feels as though you have gone through some sort of awakening. You have. But now, but now you need to stop sacrificing yourself, sacrificing, you know, it feels like you guys are sabotaging. What the hell is this? You're sabotaging. It seems like you're sabotaging your own happiness by wanting to control. Wanting things to happen right now. Hmm. May cause a little bit of conflict. There is some indecision here as well. Keep in mind that your lover may not be your usual type. And there's consequences for your actions. This is impulsive behavior. So there's probably consequences for going too fast. Just saying. Now this lover, whoever it is, could be somebody you've known before. Could be somebody from your past. Or this person could be reawakening feelings that you've never felt before. But this is having faith, restoring faith, starting to realize that there is love. There's love to be had. But there's this emotional withdrawal of some sort or over overly emotional that it, and overanalyzing, overanalyzing, overly emotional, which is causing some sort of discontent or whatever. Wow. Okay, so, you know, the Three of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not putting in effort. They're not. Somebody, I mean, come on now. Somebody is not putting in enough effort. Maybe not wanting to be held accountable. You may be looking at things like, oh, life is so unfair. And if you look at it like that, then it will continue to be unfair. You need to change your perspective. Okay. That hey man reversed is when you start to see things from a new perspective. And that's where the sabotage comes in. Your thoughts truly do become things. So if you're trying to control a situation, all that is going to do is 
is make it worse, make it harder. You know what I mean? You have to allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's out of your control. It is. They hear your prayers. They're working on it. Trust, trust that that is happening. Okay? Don't let your emotions get the best of you because you want it right now. The, the truth is, divine timing is real. It's real. Okay? So, that's, that's the truth. In the end, you're going to be happy. The Ten of Cups. Happiness is, is around the corner. It is. It's around the corner. But, you have to put in effort to let go of your control issues. Okay? So, let's see what else we got here. You need to restore your faith. Faith in divine timing. The Five of Cups is restoring faith in love. These fell out, so we're going to take them. The Knight of Swords reversed. There's no hurry. No rush. No rush. Being in a hurry could cause somebody to get hurt. So don't be afraid to slow down and let this play out, whatever it is. Destiny is, is calling. It's coming. Good luck, good fortune, a change of course for the better is on the way. It's on the way, Aries. It is. Whatever is happening is bringing you something good. Destiny. Your prayers are going to be answered. They are, if they aren't already. But you need to free yourself from the negative thoughts, from the betrayal, from the hurt, from the despair, from the mental turmoil, from the hurt that you've been holding on to. This is a time of liberation. It's a time of personal freedom where it's like, I feel good. The storm is over, or it's about to be. Yeah, it's like the truth is coming out. Somebody is about to get caught or something is about to come out. Something is about to be revealed that you've, uh, some, maybe somebody was in hiding. You know, maybe somebody was in hiding and, and now, the, now they're coming around. Whatever this is, it's divinely guided. It is. It's like... Somebody has felt like they were being misjudged or criticized or attacked. You have, may have felt like, well, this is kind of like rejection as well. <clears throat> the rejection from the past, because the past is underneath it, okay? The Six of Cups. The rejection and the hurt from the past has caused you to put your guard up. Be defensive. Defend yourself. Interesting, what the hell is this? And maybe you've blocked this person or you've blocked this this past or this happiness for fear of getting hurt again. What the hell is this? You guys have, you're really indecisive about letting somebody from your past back into your life. If that is the case for some of you, you're indecisive. But I feel like there is, and you may have blocked somebody from the past, but now they're coming back around. 
That's what it kind of looks like to me. There's been a lot of criticism. There's been a lot of misjudgment. There might have been, might have been some verbal attacks, verbal attacks, okay, between the two of you. But it feels as though there is a, there's some sort of freedom from that, whatever that is. Ooh, it's like somebody's taking off the mask. Coming clean. What the hell is this? Two of swords reversed. This is the indecision, like I saw before. The indecision with the lovers and now this. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be dealing with any sign, just saying. But that just popped into my head. I feel as though... There is some sort of anxiety, stress, fears, and worry about a decision that you are going to need to make in regards perhaps to somebody from the past. I think that you may be holding on or they may be. Somebody's holding on to some anxiety and resentment. But maybe that it's time to let that go. That's protective. That's a protection tactic, holding on to that shit. That's protect. You do that to protect yourself from getting hurt again. That's the truth. So, anyway. Yeah, it feels as though you're you're into it for a, a treat. You, there's some power struggles here. There's some sort of... Um, desire to get back in the game <laughs> so you know maybe somebody wants to uh go back at go back to battle with you you know they the, the the battle isn't over you know even though <sighs> wonderful even though you know it, it has been over it has ended you freed yourself from it you've blocked it you've blocked it i feel like you've blocked this person out Whoever this person is, you blocked them, it's done. It's like, you know, like, whatever. At one point, you blocked them out. And now, maybe it's a Gemini, I don't know. Now this person has some tricks up their sleeve, and they're coming to play again. You know, they're coming to uh, get back in the game. You know, they're coming to bring some conflict into your life. What the hell is this? Because that is what this is. The Five of Wands is conflict unexpected conflict so be prepared for some unexpected conflict this week I'm just saying I know it started out real good now all of a sudden we have some conflict when you are dealing with the magician in reverse you are dealing with a sly individual who is very tricky and cunning and um, you know you may not even see the tricks that they have up their sleeve the hell is this so I feel as though there is some sort of deceptive person perhaps that is in your life and I don't know who this is if it's a lover a friend a work associate whatever that is really causing you some inner conflict okay they're bringing some conflict to your life and I think that you had probably blocked this person in the past okay with the eight of wands and the two of swords there's definitely been a blocking okay where you know maybe they're they they you know, they don't, they see that you freed yourself and they don't like it. So they come in to shake things up. Um, yeah, they want a revival of some sort. They want to bring some sort of competition, you know, alive. Okay, they don't want it to die. They don't want the, the idea of you and them to die. Yeah, they don't want you to start a new chapter. So I think that you have been calling in your soulmate. Perhaps you've had a watcher behind the scenes that has seen that. I don't know. That could be the scenario. But I feel as though, because there's an opportunity here. I think that life is changing for the better for you. It is. It is. But <laughs> what a contradiction. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune upright with the World card reversed. This is a emptiness inside, feeling lost, unable to complete this phase, unable to complete this cycle. Closure hasn't happened yet. So that you can have, this is the step that needs to be taken so that things get better. I think you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be any sign. 
but I feel as though there is some sort of closure that needs to happen so that they can actually bring you this, the soulmate that you've been praying for. You have to. This freedom, liberation from this trickster, this player, this game player, and this door needs to be closed so that they can bring you this. And the Six of Cups is buried under here. It's somebody from your past. It needs to be closed. You need to step over the finish line and flip this world card over so that you can have what, what good things are waiting and that's the sabotage that I was talking about earlier. You sabotage yourself by allowing this to remain open. Yeah, it's time to just be happy and sever those ties. Do you, do you still need to prove yourself to this person? That stabbed you? Or do you want to be happy? That's what this is about. Because there's an opportunity for a soulmate that will come in divine timing if you... Close this chapter with this deceptor, whoever this is. Player. You know the player over here. So, yes, this person has been watching you. They have. They've been observing you from afar. They might see that you're starting to feel happy. They might see that you're starting to disconnect. They're coming to bring you some conflict, okay? They're, you're about, you will face some conflict this week from somebody. Whether it's a child, a family member, or a past lover, there's going to be some conflict that comes into your week, to, into your life, in which you will need to step back and just allow it to unfold. The truth is going to come out with this, with the Seven of Swords. You don't even have to do a thing. You really don't. You don't. The truth is going to come out. Just sit back and let the shit roll. Okay? Because somebody's going to dig their own grave. Okay? So just, that's what I see. I feel as though you are probably faced with a negative situation, which I saw that negative Nelly at earlier, in which you will just need to just step back. Watch, listen, observe. Let it unfold. The truth will come out. And you will be the winner. <laughs> Remember I saw the winner. I don't know where it was. And maybe it wasn't even for you. I don't know. I've done so many readings. But you will be the victor. You will be the winner here. Yeah. The truth is absolutely going to come out. You're going to receive the clarity that you need to bring closure to a situation in your life. A new chapter is about to begin. You are going to have some sort of a wake-up call. And you aren't even going to have to put in any effort. So I feel like this is a week of conflict, perhaps. I mean, not the whole week. There'll probably be a day or two. I don't even know that, that you know, something comes in and just, <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, this is crazy shit. But it's what I needed. It's what I needed to free myself, you know, to, to say no more. The Ten of Swords reverse. It's, this is what I needed to complete this cycle. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of truth, awakening, communication, whatever that comes through that allows you 
you probably defend yourself because the seven of wands. You probably will end up defending yourself for this for this person. There's going to be probably an argument, but you know that's the way life is. Anyway, I feel as though um, whatever is happening is bringing you something better in the long run, which is the soulmate that you're looking for. Okay, you gotta have the closure before this can happen. So anyway, that's what I have, Aries. Talk to you later.